This is a quick video on a handy function called dir, D-I-R. I'm going to show you how it works and what it's useful for. So I'm going to import the random library and then I'm going to use this dir command because I don't know what's available from the random library. So when I run dir as a function against random, it returns a whole list of things. Okay, so all of these are sort of like Okay, what does this mean? I don't know what's going on. Well, okay, okay. Now this stuff, this 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 starts to look useful, right? So, random, rand int, rand range, sample, right? These are functions that I might use. And so, what we're getting back here is a list of all of the functions and attributes that are available from, uh, in this case, a library. So, that's cool. So, what does that mean? I can do. It means I can do random. Dot random and then see what happens. All right, so random dot random returns a random value between zero and one. That's cool. So here's a list of all the other things that I can get out of that random module. So if I want to look at random int, obviously, then I'm going to try out random dot rand int and get back uh, something where I oh I need something. Okay, so now I read this error message and I need two values, so something like a, a range maybe. So random integer between 0 and 10, it returns an integer. Okay, so this is how I can discover what's available from a library, at least one method. So where that's really coming from in the back end is it's just looking at this dict keys attribute. If you really wanted to see it, it's just going to output the same thing. Lastly, I'm going to hit you with a suggestion on another way um, in Jupyter of exploring different libraries. So here, if I type the word random and then dot, and I press the tab key, I'm going to get back a menu of things. So all of these, these are telling me what the possible uh, expansion values are. So again, if I select one of these, it's going to fill it in, and I can use that. So that's a quick example of how we can learn what functions are available from a module.